Hello everyone, welcome back to Webdev Mentors YouTube channel and we are watching Learning Bootstrap series. In this video, we are going to see about some of the classes that Bootstrap provides us to make our website more responsive. So these classes are called as responsive utilities in your Bootstrap documentation section. So you can go to that particular section, responsive utilities, and uh, we are having a short description for this. So that actually states, for faster mobile friendly development, Use these utility classes for showing and hiding content by device via media query. Also included are the utility classes for toggling content when printed. So there are two variants in this. The first is the classes that provides us with the ability to actually hide or show the content based on the device size. And the next thing is the print classes that actually provides us with the ability to hide a particular content or show a particular content in the printing section. So if you want to print a particular page, you can specify what content has to be printed and what content can be hidden. So visible print class actually makes a particular content visible while you're printing that web page, but it actually hides that content in a normal browser. But the next hidden print class actually shows your content while it is in the normal browser. But when you print that particular page, it's going to be hidden. So if you want a particular content to be shown both while in the browser, normal view, and also in the print, just don't add any classes. You don't have to add any classes, but if you want to show something or add some content to the print version of the website, use the visible print. And if you want to hide a particular content, in the print section that is you want to hide the header and footer or the menu bars you can use the hidden print class in that so most of the people don't use these classes for the print section if you want to print a particular blog just take that particular blog content area and put it in a different page and let it be available for the print so you don't have to make all those header footer sidebar menu bar staffs and also images that actually take up more spaces in the uh, printable section and uh, let's go back to the normal classes that is available under the responsive utilities so these classes actually is available for both visible and hidden that is the show and the hide for all the device sizes so you can see that the extra small small medium and large devices in both the classes so what it states is that the first visible class is going to make a particular content visible in that particular device size only and the next the hidden class is going to make a particular content to be hidden in that particular device size only so what happens is that visible is going to show your content on that particular device and the hidden is going to show your content except that particular device size so you will be seeing that particular content in all the other three device sizes but not in the device size that you want to hide it from so that is going to be useful for you and uh, the first rule and the very easy tip that you can use is that if you want to hide a particular content in three devices and want to show it in one particular device use the visible and if you want to hide a particular content from only one particular device use the hidden access so if you want to hide a particular content from two devices use the visible so don't use the hidden I recommend you to use the visible for that two particular device size so let's get down to the actual implementation so I'm going to use the blog post content page and uh, if you can see that I have added two images that are the changes that I have done let me show the code for that change so I have added these two divisions that is the columns each of size 6 in the medium device sizes so these two have two images and I have also given the class image responsive we have seen this class already this class actually makes your image responsive in your website so now let me go to the website and I want these two images to be visible on the horizontal section only so you want a particular image or set of images want to be displayed in the horizontal manner and should not snap into the vertical manner so when I reduce the size of the browser and it snaps into the small device section you can see that 
these two images stack up in the vertical manner so this actually deviates from how I want it to look like so I want it to look like in the horizontal manner so you can have the SM class to actually make up that but this makes your image far too small so when I reduce the size further you can still see it go down in the vertical so I'm going to change it to the size of X's so when I do this it's going to be like this and this is going to be very difficult for you to read but I'm ready to sacrifice the secondary image but I want this primary image that is the first image to be compulsorily or mandatorily in my website it should be there compulsorily in my website so I'm ready to remove this image but it would be better if that image is also visible when I have more space like when I enter into the medium device section so I'm going to actually change it to medium and I'm going to specify that this particular column must be displayed only when my website is at the size of a medium device or the large device so as I'm going to make it available for two devices I'm going to use the visible class with the two device sizes so visible MD and visible LG and when I go to the website refresh it in order to make the classes apply and I'm reducing the size now and this is going to snap into the small device section so now I can see that the first image is only displayed and the second image is gone but it has already loaded and it is hidden from the view so if you are planning to build a more optimized website for your mobile device I'm um, I want to state it clearly this class the hidden class is not going to remove your image it is still going to load it but just going to hide it from the eyes of your viewers your website will take the same time to load as it takes in the normal medium devices or large devices so don't forget that and we can see that it is hidden till the exercise and when it goes to the medium device snapping point that is the 992 pixel you can see that particular image comes back into action so I'm going to the normal size of my web browser and I'm going to so if you're having trouble checking out the actual size of your website just go into the developer console you can use the inspect element in order to access the developer console or you can go to the side menu and uh, go to the tools section and you can see that the developer tools is available or you can have the shortcut key that is the control shift I so I'm using the shortcut key and once you go to that and reduce the size of the browser you can see that uh, the you can see the resolution or the actual size of the web browser will be visible on the top right corner directly below the menu bar so that gives you the actual size and I'm just hitting the 992 yeah you can see that this is the breaking point for the medium devices to the small devices now my images are hidden so you can check this way and uh, you can actually also use it on normal content not just the images you can also actually use it on textual content so if you want to make a particular text available only on the small devices or the extra small devices you can use this particular uh, text area the class is visible access and visible SM only and it will be automatically hidden for the medium and the large devices and uh, when uh, you are using particular content or a big content but you want it to be visible only for the large devices for example you are having three images and uh, one is highly recent one has a very high resolution for the large devices one has a medium resolution for the medium devices and one had one has a small resolution for small devices you can use that kind of images but again you want to load all those three images that's going to take up more space and take more time to load so if you want to actually have more flexibility and advanced level of uh, control over the responsiveness uh, it's going to be foundation that is going to provide you with that you can actually set up which image to actually load for the particular device size so you can have three different types of images one for the small devices one for the medium devices and one for the large devices and you can load that particular image so you can reduce the size of the image for the small devices and save it in with different name and you can load that that's going to load your website faster 
but again you have to know foundation and bootstrap doesn't gives you that much advanced capabilities but again if you are willing to sacrifice the speed you can still show different type of content for your website visitors and you can use it in a different way like a magic stuff for your visitors and also in different ways of handling the content like removing the unnecessary content if they are going into the small devices in order to make sure that the content is properly presented if you find this video useful please like this video subscribe to the channel and share this video and as usual if you have any comments suggestions feedbacks or issues or if you want us to do some video on a particular heading or a particular topic or a particular function of bootstrap please let us know so that we can create a video in needful timing thank you